Today, I want to show you the Microsoft Teams Display Hot Desking Overview. So let's check it out. First up, we need to make sure we have the appropriate license. And for that, we can now use the new Microsoft Teams Shared Device License at $8 per month. So let's see what it looks like in our Teams App and Center. So here we have my Microsoft Teams Admin Center. And what I can do is look at purchase services. So one thing available is a free trial. So you're able to get a trial for the device licenses. So we can simply type in shared. And this will now show you the uh, Microsoft Teams device licenses. So it's six euros 70 or eight US dollars. And you can start a trial. So if you haven't got any already, you can start a trial. You can see here, I've started my trial. So I can then come in and assign that to users. So once we have then created uh, a user for the shared device license, so again, there are best practices on what sort of accounts to create, such as a room resource, and then assign this shared device license to it. So for example, I can look at my resources here, and you can see I have hot desk 2, 9, and 10. And they are set up as room accounts. And now when I go to the actual users as well, let's go to these users, I can see they are running hot desk 1, is running the shared device license. So now let's switch over to my neat frame that is running software. So here I have my neat frame. And what I want to do is now sign in on this device with the code. So I can either sign in on the device itself, or I'm going to tap in the code. So it means I can sign in on a browser. So now we can see the device signing in using that hot desk nine I picked, and this will now be the shared device license. So you've got to make sure you have your Intune enrollment policies allowing, obviously, Android devices to sign in. No multi-factor authentication, etc. They're all, again, guidance on this within the, the Microsoft Learn uh, site to help you get this set up. So now we have the device signed in, and you can see our features we have available to us. So we can make a call, so I can able to hit calls, and I can make an outbound call. So I can dial a PSTN number. So when I walk into this hot desk area, I can quickly make that call. The next feature is I'm able to reserve. So I'm able to hit the reserve button and choose a date and time I want to reserve for. So for example, I can select who I want to uh, reserve this. So let's pick Adele and reserve. And I could choose my custom time, obviously how long I want to, to use this for. The next step is to, on the time, is to walk up and sign in. So hot desking or team shared device license just cannot join a Teams meeting. It has to sign in as a user. So I simply come to the device, type in my user, click sign in, and then I'll be prompted for my password. And then I'm now signing in as Adele during this hot desking session. And there we have it. We are now signed in as Adele. And I, I can do any meetings that are in my calendar. So I can see my list of meetings. And then I can also see my hot desking reservation. And then I can join a scheduled meeting, for example. So I'm now in the lobby, I'm joining an external meeting, etc. So again, all of those standard Microsoft Teams features are here within the device. And then I can see all my chats, contacts and messages. I can then go to my Teams, for example, look at something in my channel. So all my standard Microsoft Teams features are here on my dedicated device. And then once my time is finished, I have the option, uh, it will ask me, there will be a banner at the top saying, do I want to sign out or extend my reservation? I can then automatically say, okay, do you know what? I'm finished now. I can either extend it. 
Um, so again, it'll look at the calendar and see when it is available. I can also then connect it to my Windows-based laptop so I can use better together. So when I lock my laptop and walk away, it locks the, uh, the neat frame as well. And then I have the option to sign out once I'm finished. I can end that reservation and then it's ready for the next person to come up and tap a different time below and then choose when they want to be able to use this hot desk space. So nice and simple, very easy for users to walk up, sign in, get their personal details, do all their meetings and messages. And don't forget, the device has Bluetooth as well. So you can pair your favorite headset to the device if you want to have private calls and not use the inbuilt audio as well. So that is Neat Frame with Microsoft Teams Display Software for hot desking, which is coming on update four of the app. Any questions, let us know.